What can I say? I had a lot of fun with Conga Master. Conga Master by Undercoder Studio is a rare game these days, as there is no real rhyme or reason to be doing what you're doing in the game. It is literally your character trying to get a conga line going and making it as long as possible with many different people. At the start of the campaign, you arrive to a club and start dancing around the patrons. The closer you dance to them, the faster their dance gauge fills up to where they want to join your conga line. While this may seem simple enough, there are obstacles along the way, like random banana peels, a janitor mopping the floor, a bouncer, a waiter serving you alcohol, and even running into other people can make you veer from where you want to go as you slide around the dance floor. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find a momentum gauge that needs to stay filled, or it's the end of your conga line in that stage. Every person that joins your conga line fills up the gauge a little bit more. However, there is a twist in the difficulty as you gain people. The more people you have in your line, the faster the people's dance gauges fill when they dance around them. But as more and more people join, the less and less a person fills the momentum gauge. It is then up to you, the player, to get as many people to join at once, which ups your combos. By the way, make sure you don't allow any pigs into your conga line or that will punish your momentum bar. Yes, I just said that. When you do eventually pass the first stage of the game, an interactive cutscene occurs that has you and the people that you brought with you from the previous club running away from an alien spaceship. I'm not making this up. You have to run and hop over obstacles to try and keep as many people as possible to go to the next stage of Conga Master. As you go from stage to stage, new obstacles and opportunities will present themselves in the forms of unlocking better characters, gaining access to better areas of the club, and so on. Reading about this or even watching a video about Kaga Master may make it seem simple, and in a way it is. There is a great level of difficulty as you will start boards over and over just to get to the next club. For the fun of it, there is a gameplay option that just has you picking up as many people as possible for your conga line, as well as a multiplayer option that has some familiar names and fonts for each board. What I found strange is that there is no repercussion for running into your own conga line. If you are trying to get a big combo, it can be easily done. This would have brought a huge difficulty curve, but it seems like it was just a problem that was overlooked. Part of the charm of Conga Master is its use of pop culture references throughout the different clubs you visit during the campaign. I won't go into detail, but there are many that come from the 70s and 80s, as one in particular is a blatant homage to a particular time travel film. Conga Master is excellent in its silliness and is absurdly fun. That's it. You can easily pick this game up and have fun with it for a small amount of time just as easily as you can for a longer period of time. I have not been in many conga lines in my life, but I don't remember having as much fun in one of those as I did playing Conga Master. I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Thank you everybody. Please like the video and subscribe to the Nerd Theory channel. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Twitch. We just got that started. I'm Brian, and I'm out.